here, YouTube. I'm back again today for another gameplay video. And today I'm very excited to be checking out The Silver River from Robert Burke Games. It's for one to four players. Age is 14 plus, so you about 90 to 140 minutes to play. And this is a big 4X game in which you are going to be going around the galaxy with your unique race, uh, attacking monsters, attacking uh, bad guys, colonizing planets, uh, exploring, going on quests, doing a whole bunch of different ways to potentially win the game. Now, I do want to start off by saying this is my first time playing the game. This is my first time trying the game. So you're going to see legitimately what it's like to try and figure out the game. Hopefully it works well. Hopefully it molds well together. Uh, but we'll see. I've read through the rule booklets twice, so I feel like i got a good idea of what's going on, but I will have to consult back the rule books from time to time. I will try and pause the video so you won't have to watch through that and then just cut right to it. But let's get right into it. So in the solo game, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get 35 points, which you can score in a whole variety of different ways, or defeat a level 5 monster, and as you defeat the monsters, they will slowly start to level up. So right now we have Krator in the center. I can fight him, or I could just completely ignore Krator if I want to and do other things. But here's his card. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll go into fighting him when I eventually do go into fighting him, because I imagine I want to poke him from time to time. And as once you kill him, then you'll get a level 2 monster, level 3 monster, level 4 monster, level 5 monster. And as you up, as you get to the level 2 monsters, at least in this version of it, uh, I believe in the regular play just a two, three, or four player game, he automatically starts with these, but you'll get specific monster abilities. So every single monster you face is going to be a little bit different, which is really quite interesting. But my starting planet is over here, and I have five people colonized on my planet, which means at the beginning of each round, I'm going to get five raw production over here. Now, you'll see I have more than five. That's because your first turn, and this is true in any player count, you're going to start with a bonus eight. So we're going to start with 13 over here. Over here, I have my technology board, and you have two types of technology, both colonization, uh, civilian technology, civilization technology, excuse me, and military technology, which makes sense. You know, you got the Roomba, you got the nuke, the yin and the yang. Uh, here are the technology cards here, which I've not actually got a chance to really look through because I set up the game and I read the rules. Um, over here, we have my player board, which has all the different actions you can take, and we'll be doing a whole bunch of those. Uh, your three buildings that you can build, including the Pleasure Dome, which will score you victory points uh, when you get them built. It goes through the different phases. It's, it's really, really cool. Over here, we have our fleets, so this is going to keep track of my fleets. On the board, I have four fleets, and that's how many uh, units are in each fleet. I think it's a really cool way to keep track of it. They also have fleets over here. If I choose to want to go fight them, I don't have to go fight them. I can completely ignore them if I want them, or I can go fight them, and you can see uh, their fleet is over there. A really nice usage of space, because once you learn all the actions, you can put your fleet right here, and it fits just perfect, which is a really cool idea. I also have one tactic card here, which will let me do a special ability. Place this card on any sector except Sagittarius A in the middle. No opposing fleet may move into the sector at this age. Womp, womp, womp. Not a particularly great card for, <laughs> for a solo game. And in fact, I was a little bit curious about this because it tells me to remove the card. Let me read it to you. Remove Surprise Vote, Culture War, Raid, Blockade, and Cyber Disruption cards from the game. Oh, all the cards. Okay. I'm a noob, glad I read that again, and I'm glad we have the rules here, so I will draw another card, which will hopefully expand. You may colonize any planet that is eligible anywhere in the galaxy for free, or discard to reroll any three dice. You may colonize any planet that is eligible anywhere in the galaxy for free. Wow! Do I have to be there? Hmm. Oh, for free. Uh, yes, I have to be there, obviously. So... Let's get it started. Let's get it going. Uh, the first thing I did was I did pick my five personal objectives. Unlike Twilight Imperium, where you just get dealt personal objectives, you were able to kind of cater how you want to play the game. And so I wanted to cater to tech because my race is all about tech. What, or, well, their special abilities about tech. Once per age, spend two political production to build a technology another player has, ignoring level requirements. Now, obviously, that one, uh, that one doesn't matter because there's, there's, there's just me here. But... So what they did was I can spend five political production. It doesn't count as an action, and I can build any tech that I want. I'm not sure exactly why I want to do that, though, because the cost of them are all two or three. I, I do believe the bugaboo here is that I can actually uh, spend the five, and I can get something that's a higher level, which would make a lot more sense because you do have to kind of level up, which is huge if true, and I think that's how it works. I want to read it and make sure you understand it. Uh, because it is really cool, because I can do it at any point, and so I might actually do it before the round even starts, we'll see, because two of the races get their own special thing, 
So, steel tech, once per age, spend five political production to build any tech at any time. This is not an action. So, yes, I do believe that means that I do not have to start with the level one and go to the level two. I'm able to build whatever I want, which makes me feel that I absolutely want to put five over here in political production for sure. Now, let's go over the different actions that I can take. Because really, at its core, this is a relatively simple game. First step, and we'll, we'll just walk you through them real quick, and then we'll start actually doing them. Set up the board. First step is going to be to do the production, I do believe. Phase one, production phase, we have done that. And now what I would normally be doing is I would, I'd have a little screen, because yes, there is supposed to be screens, and there's supposed to be a whole other board, the domestic investment board we're not using in the solo game. And um, I'd be doing this, but obviously since there's no one here, I can just put them wherever I want. So before we do that, let's take a look at what actions I really want to take. How do I want to play the game? So I do want to get and upgrade it. I'm not going to analysis paralysis this. Let's find a cool one. Let's build it right now because I can do whatever I want. Uh, advanced terraforming, efficient workforce, immediately gain plus six on any single domestic investment track. Oh, well, that one stinks. Uh, so let's look at our level five technology, baby. Emergency jumps five. For every two ships you lose in battle, add one ship to any fleet. Oh, how about this one right here? Fleet upgrade, phase torpedoes. This is going to make it much easier to hit, so I'm going to pay the five and we're going to get these big, bad old torpedoes. And they go right in here. And as you can see, it went from being I only got a hit on the circle to now I got a hit on circles and triangles. And if I get the circle, I get a critical hit. But that's going to cost me five, so those five are poop, 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 gone. If you don't spend them, they carry over. But obviously, you want to spend them because you only get four turns of the whole game. Now, you're going to have a whole bunch of actions on each turn, but you, don't, you, want, to, you want to maximize your moves. So let's take a look at political action, see if I want to do. I can build a wonder on any planet you control, draw two tactic cards, keep one and discard one. I'm not feeling that. I might build a wonder because it is a good way to get points, and I can get a pretty easy six points here. Um, but man, I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these cubes, and I know I want to explore because one of my private ones, yeah, this is, this is a good time for me to share these, uh, unlock all technology slots. I don't know. That's ambitious. Uh, so that's an immediate one where I would score the points right then, but then I also can have at least five civilization technologies. Oh, and I will actually need this board out to keep track of the score. So yes, I am going to need that one out, and we'll put it all the way over here on the side where I'm sure you cannot see, but that's just the nature of the beast with a game with this much stuff going on. But it gets me excited. I do want to say the, the rule booklet got me legit excited because I'm a huge fan of 4X. All right, so uh, max out a fleet with 10 ships. I think we can do that. How do we do that? We actually build ships. Build X ships in any fleet where no other player fleet exists. Okay, so that's not going to be a problem. So that one should be relatively easy. And we can actually do that right now. Ooh, and have the most total ships. So they have 24, 27. We could do that. So this one should be one we should get pretty easily if we focus on it. Cohabitate on three different planets. Not going to be hard either because we're already on one planet. So I think what we really want to do is we're going to put some in the military. Um, we're at five. Let's go ahead and put... We are going to want to move. Activate a fleet. We, you, you can only do once per turn, but obviously in a solo game, I don't really know if it matters that much. We'll still play it the right way, though. So we will go... We'll just put... We'll go willy-nilly. Let's go five here. Just throw it all up in the air. We got three left. What costs three down here? Colonize new planet, cost on your tech board. Colonization is going to cost three. Perfect. So this might be a relatively quick turn. Ooh, we might want to go after that monster. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we've got it up there. Oh, let's make sure we're doing everything correct. We have done our production phase. At this point, we would reveal it to everyone. And at this point, we would say, oh, ha, ha, we spent our five and we built this super awesome... There's so much! <laughs> Fleet upgrade phase torpedoes. It's down here. I'm ready to wreck something's face. Can we get over there? I think we can. Let's figure it out. So next we go to the action phase. Starting with the first player and continuing clockwise, and I will be taking every single action because they're not they're only here to get beat up on, pretty much. And uh, for the public objectives and, and different stuff like that. So let's get down to it. What do I want to do first? Civilization production. What we're gonna do there. Populate a plant. Do I want to populate? A, I'm not on any plants right now. This one is at the max capacity. So what I do believe is we're going to do a military turn. So I will activate fleet, which I can only do once per turn. And then explore, attack, colonize, or do nothing. So we will go ahead. Let's get right up. Mm, right up in there. So we're on here. We spend the one. 
And now, what do we want to do? Let's let's take a look at our options real quick because we want to make sure we're doing everything correct right here. I can explore an empty hex, uh, separate with no planets. I cannot do that because this is not an empty hex. This is an empty hex right here. Uh, and that's where you draw Explorer cards, which are a whole different thing with side quests. And yes, there's, they're, they're over here. I'll grab them when we get to them. There's a lot going on in this game, if you couldn't tell. Gets me excited. Uh, so we can't explore an empty hex. We can attack. You may, you may, but do not have to attack if you move into a sector with another player's fleet. When you move into a sector with another player's fleet, you may attack. They may attack your fleet. Uh, obviously, they're not going to do it. We're going to have to initiate the attack. We could colonize a planet. Pay the civilization cost based on your colonization technology and place a population cube on each new planet you wish to colonize. You may colonize on as many different planets as you would like, but you must have a fleet present at each sector where you wish to colonize. Oh, I kind of wish I would have upgraded my, my colonizing now. Yep, you're starting to see the game. Now, with monsters, I do believe I might be able to attack from one space away. Let me check, because maybe I'll just throw down on this monster. That, I might have got that mixed up, because I know if someone, this is really cool, if someone else happened to be right here, and then I initiated with a fight with a monster, they could then join the fight with a monster to get some of the perks, but they don't get, like, the main perks. It's, it's, it's an interesting thing. Very, lots of interesting stuff, we cannot tell. All right, we got player versus player combat. Let's go to the monster phase right here, because I would like to type, get this monster, if possible. Let's go to the index. Is it going to help me? Monsters, see space monsters. Okay, fair enough. Space monsters, five, ten. 10, 16, and 7. 5, no, not here. 10. Space monsters. Colonize a planet, attack, fight a space monster. Enter a sector where a monster exists and attack it. This is a high risk, high reward move, but that's for next turn. That's for next round, unfortunately. Uh, so, yes, we are. Oh, no, because I can move them again. Hmm, but do I want to move them again? I have four military production. What do I want to do? I feel like we should upgrade our fleet. We could upgrade our fleet. No, let's colonize. Let's spend the three. Let's colonize. Oh, but you can colonize on all the different planets you're on, so you kind of want to spread yourself out. But by doing that, I believe in a two, three, or four player game, you're giving other people more time to do everything because that would be a very simple move I made, and then if I wanted to make another one, I'd have to spend one to do this, and that would be my whole turn. So I think that's where you're getting the yin and the yang here of what you want to do. Activated the fleet. Let's just colonize. No, we're not going to colonize. Oh, I don't know what to do. We're, we're, how much do we got? We got three here. We will move one more next time. So that was my whole action. I just moved. I believe I'm done. Is there anything I can do here that's free? I don't think so. I'm, I'm buying stuff off the dollar menu. I can't build ships. I can't activate. Well, yes. You may attack, col attack, colonize, explore, or do nothing. And you can only explore when you are in a blank area where, where there's nothing there. So that's my next move. Uh, that was my turn. I took the one off, right? Yes, I took the one off. So I'm going to spend another one. And this person is going to go here. And now we will colonize with the three. So colonization. Let's make sure. Oh, we can't colonize because... Oh, lame, because we uh, we have to do it with the green, which is why we left three in the green. Okay, so we will get to colonize later. All right, but I need to spend this military production. So, build ships in any fleet where no other player's fleet exists. Let's go ahead and do that. Which one's more powerful, my two or my three? It is the two, so we'll bump it up three. Or should I do it with the one? No, because the two's about to fight. So we'll go one, two, three... Mm, build X ships in any fleets. You know what? We'll, we'll go. We'll go two here, one there. I'm happy with that. And then we have our last action for this turn. Wow, that's why you don't want to spend five every time. Which is to civilization production because this is. Oh, this is important because. Oh, maybe I should have spent more to spread these out. This is. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. But this is a learning game. This is a learning game. You won't make the same mistakes I will. Hopefully. Colonize a new planet where X is the amount of technology shown on the players. Call okay. Colonize one habitable planet. One? Man. Only add one. You may only add one cube to any planet being colonized. You may colonize planets where other players. One? Well, that stinks. Oh, wait. I'm not there. <laughs> uh, okay. So that was not the best turn. 
Now, uh, I do believe I'm supposed to put these stars here. Let me let me double check on the stars. These slots display your because when you move, I think that's only when you explore, actually. Yes, there's a limit of three explore actions per age for each care player. Oh, okay, so we're going to need to go exploring next time. So that was the first round. I feel like I did a very poor job on this for first round. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'm playing 3D chess here. Because I'm about to beat up on a monster. Because that's another way you can win the game. So I need to get my fleets up towards that monster. That's what I need to be doing. So uh, let's make sure we wrap up this phase. We did the action phase. And then we do the age ends. When the last player passes, the age is over regardless of turn order. And the last passing player is allowed to move one space on the domestic investment track. Which, by the way, sounds really stinking cool. Uh, because it just it slowly bumps you up if you pass earlier. Which So if I had this turn in, say, a four-player game, it might be great potentially because i'd be getting a whole bunch of extra stuff but as it stands now not a very good turn i don't think and then i believe we just go back to phase one each player simultaneously produces gaining one raw production per population cube they have in play which for me is a very disappointing six. One, two, three, four, five, six. maybe i shouldn't spend my five on this super cool thing or maybe i should have who knows uh governing phase where we have to spread it out and then we have our action phase so i don't think i'm going to use the special ability this time and wow, I need to colonize. Hmm. But let's see. Let's check out this colonization upgrade. The, see, see what it does. Immediately gain plus six on any... Nope, that one. That. Advanced colonization. Colonize one habitable planet where you have a fleet present. This one's going to make it cost two. But we could pay five, potentially, and we could do something crazy. Uh, colonize one habitable planet where you have a fleet present. Oh, you may colonize any planet that is eligible anywhere in the galaxy for free. Or discard up to... You may colonize any planet that is eligible anywhere in the galaxy for free. So we're going to reverse reverse here real quick. And man, these tactic cards might be pretty stinking good. Uh, we're actually going to reverse reverse because it's solo and who's going to know. And we're going to colonize any available planet. Does not matter where we colonize? That's my question. I don't think so. So we'll go right there. I like that spot right there. And that means we're going to gain an additional cube now. So that was good. That was good. That was good. And, and we're actually close. Cohabitate on three different planets. And I think we've achieved that goal. We have boom, boom, boom. Cohabitate on the most planets, which means we have just gained ourselves two points on the victory point track right here. All is not lost. And wow. Okay, feeling pretty good here. We keep that one face up. Now, they would normally not be face up. Have the majority population on three different planets at max population. Oh, it has to be at max population. So that's the catch. So actually, I don't want this on the five. We're going to reverse reverse again because, hey, who cares? Uh, we're going to go right there, actually. I think that is the play. Explore six sectors. Unlock all technology slots. That one's going to be rough. Max out a fleet with ten ships. We're working on it. Okay. 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 Take a look at these a little bit later, but let's get going. What do we got going on over here? I don't think I'm going to spend the five, because none of these colonization ones look as good as I want them to look, which is unfortunate. Colonize one habitable planet where you have a fleet present. Oh, for one? Just for one? That looks really good. Add X. Oh, this is domestic planning. Add X population cubes to planets you have colonized. That would help me get that one card. How much is this going to cost? Three, but I can't... Okay, I see where the interesting decisions come into play. I don't want to spend this. Let's just get down to it. Do I want to build something? Do I want to build one of these wonders? Maybe these wonders help me out. When you take the build ships action in the sector, you may add five ships for three military production. That, that seems pretty good. This planet may not be attacked. Useless in this one. You may force another player to reroll up to two dice every round with blah, blah, blah. Was not going to help me. But it will score me points if I put them out there. But it's only one point. So I don't really think I'm going to mess with those too terribly much. They don't seem like they're really going to help me. And so what do we want to do? We know, I know I want to move. I know I want to move. I don't want to face this big old monster. Because here's the thing. It's going to cost me one to move the fleet. And then attacking, I'm pretty sure, is free. So it's not going to cost me there. But I'm also going to want uh, one to fly around no i want to colonize this planet Urgh, maybe i'll colonize this planet oh because then i would have the majority on this planet uh oh that's uninhabitable oh i can't actually inhabit this planet because only certain ones are inhabitable 
So yes, we actually need to send this somewhere else. Are there any other planets inhabitable that we can utilize? This one's got a three. That's decent. That's a, wait, that one's, which one? So this one's inhabitable. That one's uninhabitable. The red symbolizes that. And I doubt I'm going to pay for that tech upgrade because I'm cheap. So we will go with that. Now, the other thing that I want to make sure I comprehend here is I think I'm setting up to defeat this monster. I think that is the plan that we're going to start slamming on some monsters and I can save myself a little bit of movement if I play smart. Because if I recall correctly, and I think I mentioned this earlier, but I want to double check it. If someone is one space away from the monster, they may join in the attack. And I'm wondering if that means you as well. So let's see. Fight a space monster. Uh, not there. So next page, next page. Military example. Fighting space monster. Special rules. Lots of special rules. Yeah, because there's even Sagittarius A and Nebula sectors. Let's make sure because I'm about to be there. Uh, may, be explore, may not be explored. Any player that has the only fleet in a Nebula during the production phase receives... Oh, so if I get over there, I would get plus two technology production. Oh my gosh. That would just mean that two is on here every single time. But I need to fly faster. I want to fly faster. What if there's a thing that I go? Oh, I go. Oh, there's so many good choices to make. This is how I. This is why I love forex games here. Trade stations. Uh, yeah, don't get me started. We're not doing trade stations, even though trade stations are pretty good. During the, each trade station produces for its owner plus one raw production for each adjacent sector that has any number of population. Wow. So I kind of want to build a space station right here because that would be giving me three extra. But there's so many things I need to do. <laughs> All right, here we go. Monster combat. Focus. We're, we're, we're taking a stupid crater down. Monster combat represents a fleet traveling to battle terrible creatures of the multiverse. Uh, when a player activates a fleet or moves into any sector where a monster is located and chooses to attack, which I will do, that'll cost me one. Um, is considered so when I'm doing that I'm the leader and will be the only one to earn the victory points listed if successful and the victory points uh, active player gets two victory points return all fleets gain two civilization so I would get the victory points and anybody else involved would return all fleets to their home worlds gain two civilization production and build one wonder for free oh I gain two civilization production which means I could potentially bank on having that because that will let me Build a trade station. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm starting to see the intriguing aspect of this. Because if I get a trade station in Sagittarius A, that could potentially get me some big points if I were to... Ooh, you tricky, tricky game giving me all these options. Or I could just... Okay, focus, focus. We're, we're here to fight. We'll sort out everything else later, all right? Draw monster ability cards equal to that. We don't do that on the first one. Read the monster rules, including how many takes it hit. All players who have a fleet in the same sector as the monster or an adjacent sector may move in and join the attack. So yes, if I can position myself correctly, I can get another fleet in there, which might be what I want to do. So we're going to need one to move here in. We're going to move one to get the three here. But I also want to colonize. So I'll put three right here because I want to colonize and then I want to move, which means we have one left and I feel like it's going to be a good idea just to move somewhere and I feel like I'm completely abandoning things that I want to do I want more tactics cards oh okay so there we go you've got it set up let's get to it first thing we're going to do is we are going to uh we're going to yeah we're going to do this we're going to spend the three and we are going to colonize a new planet which is the cost on our tech board which is three which Oh, that hurts so much. But now, that's good. Um, and then, for our next move, I'm going to move one to move this fleet right here. And then we're going to move... So it's my now it's my next turn, where normally this would be all I did, uh, because I don't want to do anything here. And we're going to move one to go right into here, and let's dance. Let's get it on. Let's fight a big, stinking monster. Battle rules. First, I get to attack. The player's attack. If Crater lives, does two damage to each fleet... Does one additional damage to each fleet if fleet, fleet upgrade level is less than two? Is my fleet upgrade level less than two? What does that even mean? My fleet upgrade level is not less than two. It's actually a whopping four because we are balling. All right. So I have the two left over here, which hopefully will build me a space base. But let's make sure we do the attack correctly because this is the first time we're attacking. So i have uh oh and this this guy would like to get involved does he want to get involved 
yeah, he wants to get involved. <sighs> Double down, make sure we're safe. I'm pretty sure we're going to win this, but I, I would like to lock it down. Let's lock it down, because I want to beat this monster. All right, so when combat occurs, follow the... Oh, this is player versus player combat. Monster combat. So we get to roll dice. All combat is simultaneously. When players, all players get to fire ships before recording casually. Each player rolls one die per ship in the fleets slash trade stations in that sector. So trade stations also count as one as well for fighting. That's good to know. All right. So we have two and three here. Two is going to attack first. They get to roll five dice. So we get the five dice right here. Let's roll it up, see what we got. And we got one, two, three. Oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure I just pummeled this guy uh, with four, five, six damage. Because if we look on our card right here, all the triangles are going to be one, one, one. I don't know why there's... Uh, I'm very curious as to why there's three here. Why, why, why doesn't the triangle just have one? That makes me want to check the rules real quick. Am I only supposed to roll five dice at a time, potentially? You roll... Oh, so here we go. Good, good. I love when games have play examples that are actually helpful. I shouldn't say that yet, because this one might not be helpful. All right, you roll six dice for your phase three... Tor your phase torpedoes. You get one critical hit, three hits, and two misses for a total of five damage. This is actually... This is... Okay, this is what I hate. I hate these so much. Yes, everyone and their mother can very clearly figure out that this is going to give us that number of damage. But what about when we have... Two circles or four triangles. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be somewhere over here. But if not, it's going to be one of those moments where it's like, I think I get the extra damage, but I'm not sure. And I hate when you have too many of those in the games. I'm glad to say that, that I think that is the first one I've had so far, which is good with how complex this game is. But let's see. Uh, note of critical hits, damage to yeah, These count as two instead of one. Any hits done over and above the number needed to destroy that do not carry over to anything. So it's on the fleet. All enemy ships and trade stations must be destroyed before population. See, maybe it's in the monster combat. Monster combat, review monster, draw monster, all monsters, fall monsters, player attack. Each player counts the number of ships in their fleets and rolls one die per ship. Consult the tech player board and fleet upgrade level to determine the number of hits. Yeah, typically, if enough damage is done to the monster to kill it. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to guess that, because here's the thing. At a certain point, why would you even want to keep getting more and more dice uh, if, if you can only get three triangles? I just find it really odd that this is how they did it that's um very interesting so i do believe i did four damage six damage which means he has in a solar game he has eight so i did six damage to him which you would mark with cubes on his body but i have my guy in three who's also going to attack with ooh, only two dice he did not oh he got the critical which means yeah fantastic so Active player gets two victory points. What, what? We're up to four. I know you probably can't see it because there's so much stuff going on. Return all fleets to their home worlds. That kind of sucks. Oh, but I did need that guy to not take damage. And because we are in a race against time to get to this 10, I do feel like it was still a smart investment to put that extra one in there, even though I would have liked to still had him there. Oh, man, because I can't build it. Okay, whatever. Uh, so, return all fleets, gain two civilization production, that's awesome, thank you, and build one wonder for free, oh yeah, they don't do much for me, but still, when you take, when you take the build ships action in the sector, you may add five ships for three military production, which means if we do that to fleet two, it will get us to ten, so you better believe this orbital shipyard, poom, going right here in our home base, and now we have a way that we're going to be able to score... Two points. Okay. Doesn't sound like much, but hey. Seems like it's kind of a point salady style game. Now let's see what happens to this monster, because he's dead. There's four more over here. There's three more over here. So let's go to that. Make sure we do that correctly. Follow steps. Each player will ship. If any number of players in the monster remain, return to step four. If the monster is killed, each monster card displays the reward. The victory points listed on the monster card are awarded to the leader only. The other rewards are awarded to every player who participated in the battle that has at least one ship still remaining in the sector where the monster was killed. Replace the space monster with another monster of one level higher than the defeated monster by flipping over a next level monster card and placing the associated midi and Sagittarius A. So they are always going to be popping up right there. If you run out of level five monsters, reshuffle the deck. Blah, 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 and yeah, so we're now going to be moving on to a level 
two monster. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? This guy right here, we have Garlax Devourer of Worlds, and he is just a blah, 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 blah. I love these. I wish I knew how to paint. Uh, so he has nine health, so not too bad, but he is going to get two monster abilities, which I believe we only get to see when we activate him. But let me double check that real quick, because that is important. I, I need to know what I'm getting into before I get in with this monster, because I have no idea what those monster ability cards are like. And when you play this game, there's going to be so much exploring the game which is exactly what you want with a game that's all about exploring because i still want to go exploring there's a whole deck of cards over there i'm not even utilizing and i haven't even looked at the, the public objectives there's just so much goodness to take in right now let's focus let's focus standard solo game okay uh the monster place public objectives rule chains um, can't call for elections do not take turns. Through. Okay. Space monsters. Uh, draw the first monster from the level one monster deck and flip it face up. Place the associated space monster mid in the center. Also, shuffle the monster ability decks and place the table close to the monster deck. These will be drawn and flipped for monsters that are level two and above. So I do believe that I get to see what's going on with Garlax, the devourer of worlds. What are his special abilities? So he's hungry. Before rolling, each player must discard two of any combination of productions or immediately lose two ships. No! Ongoing, this monster has minus two H play. Oh, so he's wounded. Oh, so some of these are good. So he actually only has seven health, but I have to discard two ships or lose two production. That kind of sucks. So what do I want to do now? This is really interesting. I wasn't expecting to have the extra military production. Part of me thinks that maybe I should move somewhere and then build a space dock. So that way I can start getting some points. So I feel like that's a solid choice. If I ventured further over here, they already have it established. Like, I got it here. They'd be getting three extra points. But I feel like I want to stay relatively close to myself. I'm going to be trying to focus on killing the monster. So I think military production is going to be one. We're going to move. And since this is my turn, we just go right here. And two is not the one we want to move. We actually want to move fleet one. So one space. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, that's what I want to do. It. And then we will move him again for my next turn. Two spaces right there, and then we are going to build ourselves a space dock with our two. Uh, gain population cubes on any planets. Oh, populate! It's just a one-to-one. -one. Gain population cubes on any planet you've colonized. So I could potentially colonize some of these other planets, which will help me achieve one of these private objectives I have but I can do that later because I don't actually have to be on the spot I don't have to have a fleet there so that's good I can order people to make babies like it uh build a trade station where you have a fleet present requires the level one civilization tech oh trade stations I don't have the level one technology trade stations ah, okay well we're back to I can't do everything I want to do and I'm running out of time already all right have the majority population on three different planets at max population. So what I can do real quick right here is with my two civilization production is max out none of these. Hey, that one right there. Boom. Put the two there and bam, just like that, we have max population at that. So we should, maybe that's not a good call. I don't think that's a good call. I don't think that's a good call. I think that's a bad call, but it's been done. So, oh, it's going to be good because it's going to give me points. It's going to give me more workers to work with Crater, get the hell out of here. All right. We're done. We're done with step two. And just like that, half the game is over. So this is this is going to be pretty brisk once you know what you're doing, minus the setup. The setup is a little bit cumbersome, but uh, for, for uh, how much I'm enjoying this, I'm digging it. This round, we're going exploring this, but I kind of want to beat this monster this round. Oh, the choices. But now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cubes out here. Spectacular in our raw production. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Grab two more from over here. And now, how do we want to spend them? I know you want to go exploring because I want to go exploring. So one of these guys needs to go exploring. 
who's it going to be? And uh, It's not going to be Fleet 2 because we need them to stay there so we can get them up to our 10, which would help us achieve that goal. So one of these fleets is going to, in fact, move over here. Well, it might be three, it might be four. I'm not quite sure. Let's make sure that it's free to do the exploration action. I do believe it is. But always want to double check, especially when you're first learning a game, because I'm going to be teaching this. I would love to play this uh, about uh, with the game night and actually record that, because this is... And let me know how the camera angle is if you're still here, because uh, I got this new rig to hook it up to the ceiling. I'm kind of worried it's going to fall right on top of everything, but hey, if it happens, it happens. Explore an empty hex. If you have not explored the hex, draw an explore card. Yeah, so that one is free. That is a free action. I should go exploring. So... I also want to go in and I want to go hard on this monster right here with my one. That's a risky proposition because he's not going to be fully loaded, but we'll do it anyway. Maybe I might want to move somebody else over there. No. Throw caution to the wind because we are also going to build a wonder. <sighs> Draw two tactics cards. Keep one and discard one. Tactics cards are pretty good. I feel like we do. Yeah. Let's go draw some tax cards. Let's go draw a couple tax cards. Let's get frisky. I feel like we're down. We need to do a Hail Mary. Let's go exploring. Let's go try and beat a monster that's more powerful than us. And let's go digging for some cards. And we still have four over here. I do like that. No, let's let's take a look at Garlic. What what is the bonus we get? You get three victory points. Return, draw two tactic. Oh, two tactics cards and two military productions. <sighs> Man. Okay, slight change of plans. We're not going to take two cards. We're going to take one card because what we're also going to do is we're going to put Civilization Production and we, what was it? We had that special ability. What was our special ability? We could, I thought we had something that let us uh, get five. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, what the heck was it? There was something that let us get five for cheap, I thought. Maybe I'm totally missing something. Colonize a new planet, populate, build a trade, place a trade station, new, no, build ships, build X ships in any fleet where no other player's fleet exists. Why did I think that I could build five for the cost of three? What was it? Oh, down here. Did I get something? Oh, no, there's so much to keep track of in this game, so it's definitely not going to be for anybody. I don't even know what the heck these things are for. I don't even know what these are for. And I've read through the rules twice. Give me more, uh, so, uh, whoa, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I feel like John Travolta in that gif. Technology production. I feel like getting tech's good. Research some technology. Let's do that. We'll do it the old-fashioned way because we do want to efficient workforce. Let's a level one tech. What, what's, uh, what's level four, level three, level two, level one. Trade stations. Trade stations in any empty sector. Oh, yeah, so we do. We want to build a trade station. So, yes, I'm going to spend the two in technology. And then we're also going to need to do two to build a trade station, which means we're going to need two in civilization. we got two left. I feel like military is always a good call. I love doing military stuff. That's what I'm committed to. Let's go ahead and do it. First things I want to do, civilization production. We are actually going to build the trade stations, which Civ Tech Level 1, where does this go? Explore an empty sector to unlock this spot. No, but luckily I'm going to do that right now, so it doesn't matter. <coughs> Why did I think I could build five for the cost of two? I could have swore. Was it on Crater? Was Crater the one that let me do it? Maybe I shouldn't have thrown you so far away, Crater. Oh, vampire. Gain two, return. No, what the heck? Why did I? Oh, oh no, it was the thing. It was the thing. When you take the build ships action, you may add five ships for three military production. Bam! That's where it was. I knew I wasn't going crazy just yet. All right, so we're going to explore. First thing, let's spend our one military and let's send. Does it matter? I don't want it to be two. Three's four super weak. Let's send three out into space and we are going to explore space which means we get to put our first star out there booyah baby which means we now have unlocked this sector which means we can build those trade stations now which is good because we do have the two on the civilization but let's make sure we explore correctly i'm very excited because there was like a special thing i had to do with explore decks and their side quests and there's just so much going on in this game and you only get four turns man four it's not enough to do all the stuff i want to do all right Military actions. Exploring. At the start of each each player should collect three. When a player must choose between... Uh, 
Let's go to our handy dandy little index, which yes, God yes, more game companies need to do this, especially if you have a big rule book. Please look when you make a game like this. The, there's two types of people who make the game like, like this. There's the type of people who absolutely love games that have this idea, but they don't play enough of these games, and then they miss out on small minute details that make the game much easier to play and much more streamlined and there's people who have played a lot of games like this and a lot of that comes through in this game this game was crafted which i like to see but let's focus on exploring which yeah page number five and page number ten thank you handy index you are handy five doesn't look like it's going to be it ten looks like the way to go um Hmm. Explore an empty hex. If you have not explored this hex, already, draw an explore card, resolving the text, then place an explore token on the sector to mark that you would explore the sector. Oh, so I just draw one of these. I don't even know what these side quests are. All right. Weird alien excavator mining beryllium. Selection one. Keep the excavator and use it. Plus one population cube to the space. Uh, what? How would that work? There's nobody there. Place this card on the table in front of you shuffle side quest j into the explore deck what what is that like some robinson caruso stuff going on right here populate cube in the space how would i put a population cube just in the middle of outer space i guess i just found like a weird weird thing where they're mining or such to take beryllium reserves and destroy excavator plus two military production very tempting. Or, selection three, research the excavator, destroying it, plus two technology production, which means I could get more juicy, juicy tech. P purchase a tactics card to unlock the spot. But I will purchase a tactics card to unlock that spot. Oh my gosh, the choices. I want to know what side quest J does, but I don't think I'll get to it because I'm not going to explore that much. Okay, just for you, just for fun, I'm going to choose three, and we're going to research the excavator and then destroy it so nobody else can get it. We're going to get two plus technology production because because I like tech, and I, I, do, need, I do need to upgrade my tech, but I want to see what side quest J is. I'm intrigued because there's a whole other stack of things that are right here, and this these are all the side quests. Like, you are never going to play through all these side quests. This is spectacular. All right, uh, I, of course, shovel them like a noob, but let's see what side quest J is. I I'm intrigued, because I bet it's going to connect with this um, this mining thing that we just actually destroyed. Unstable Excavator. So, if we would have placed it down there, the player with the Explorer card, Weird Alien Excavator, Mining Beryllium, must resolve this card. Then, the active player draws another Explorer card and completes it. Selection 1. The Beryllium is unstable and explodes. Remove your population group from the empty sector where the Excavator was located. That's amazing! That's great! And minus one ship. Um, yeah, I wonder how the minus one ship works if I'm not there. I mean, I guess that's only if I'm there? I would imagine, because otherwise it wouldn't be there. But we didn't choose that. But that's cool, that that would get shuffled into there. And that explains it, because there's a whole other stack of explore cards right here. And look at all those, look at all those choices, look at all those glorious choices. Uh, and so they want to make it so that when you put one of those side quest cards in, it's much more likely to happen. That's a really cool idea. In the solo game, it's not going to work nearly as much, though, because nobody else is exploring. And I would actually imagine in, in like a two-player game, it's not going to happen as much. Whereas in a four-player game, you're going to have a lot of that stuff going on because a lot of other people are going to be exploring. So I do kind of worry about the balancing issue from one to four players. But hey, I'm still enjoying myself. We're having a good time. Oh, don't take me down. Don't take me down, Queen's Management. All right. So we have explored the galaxy, which means we have now unlocked this sector. We spent our one cube. And now I think what I want to do is I want to spend my two technology. Ooh, I have three four if i really wanted to oh but i have not purchased a tactics card yet so i can't you know what actually we're going to purchase the tactics cards first so i will spend my two political and we will draw two tactics cards and pick one spy choose a player that player decides you may look at oh is this one of the ones that i should have taken out this might be one of the ones that i should have taken out let's double check real quick because spying on another player does not seem like a very viable option in this one. Oh no but they have five cards spy that player decides you may take a look at all their tactics cards and steal one, or you may move up to three. 
Ooh, and if I stole a tactics card from them, that means they would have one less because that's how numbers work, which would make that one private objective I have earlier make a lot more sense. But, ooh, so that stinks. So, oh, but I can't look at what they have. Hmm. Action. Activate one fleet. Move zero to three. What? Action. Activate one fleet. Move zero to three spaces with the light speed. Then colonize. Must pay cost. Explore, attack, or do nothing. Yeah. I want to move. I want to fly, baby. That's what I like to see. Cool cards. Cool cards. I love when games give me cool cards. All right. Let's make sure this bad boy's still recording because I'm paranoid. Yes, it is. Delightful. This might actually be something I could do on a... I do love that new iPad. Thank you, Patreon supporters. You rock. All right. Anywho, what do we got going on next? Now that I have purchased the tactics cards, these are both unlocked. Let's go spend our technology, baby. Yeah. All right. So we can give you the level one, I do believe, because I do believe you have to upgrade it one at a time unless I want to spend the five, which obviously we probably assessed. Well, you know that? Let me kill the monster. So maybe... Eh. Buy one trade station in any empty sector. Yes, I want to start getting the trade section, so that is going to go right there. That's going to cost me two. I spend the two. Pa -poo. And then we're going to go with have three more planets colonized, including your home planet, to unlock this spot. So that one's actually already unlocked. We actually didn't even need to do that. <clears throat> so these, these two are unlocked, so I could put another... Ooh, another one up there. <clears throat> now, do I have to do level one? Let me check how this works. I'm actually kind of intrigued how this works. Populate, build the trade station. Let's go to the tech real quick. Research civilization, <clears throat> paying the cost shown in the bottom right corner of the cards you wish to gain. When you pay for new technology, you pay the cost and place this card on your technology board. Each tech card has a level, and to play a new tech card to your tech board, you must have previously researched a tech of one level lower of that type, civilization or military. <clears throat> hmm. You must have previously researched. Okay, so these are things like steel. So I'm pretty sure I did not research the fleet upgrade. I just stole it, which means I could put a level two right here if I wanted to. So I can look at both the level one and the level two in this phase. But down here, I'm pretty sure I can only look at the level one cards, which we will take a look at. So level one, level two. Don't get to look at all the other juicy stuff. All right, advanced colonization is going to make it cost two. That's nice, but it's good. Yeah, and that costs two. I could afford that. Terraforming. You may exceed each planet's maximum population capacity by one. Mm, I don't feel like it's going to help me that much. Plus one raw production during the production phase. May treat uninhabitable planets as habitable. That one. Oh, but it'll cost three. I can't afford it. Let's take a look at the military tech, and I can only do level one stuff. Planetary Bombardment. Your fleets may now attack population and wonders if no enemy fleet is present. Tempting, because I do want to destroy things, because that's how I can complete some of these public objectives, which we haven't even talked about, because there's so much stuff going on. So let's take a look at quick gander at those. Have the majority population on at least three planets with a population of seven or more. How in the heck are you going to get seven on there? Have the majority population at least three planets with a population of seven or more. Wow. Colonize at least eight planets. Defeat a fleet that has more ships than your attacking fleet. Destroy a wonder. Defeat a fleet that has less ships than your attacking fleet. Or build four trade stations. These public objectives are not happening. Get out of here. <laughs> Focusing on those. So instead, we are actually going to go ahead and... Um, man, I wish I had the extra three. We're going to do advanced colonization. I want to make it a little bit cheaper. So we'll spend the two, do that. That's our two tech. We still have three military and two civilization. What we're going to do with the two civilization, we're going to build a space station because now we can build a trade station, but we're not doing that just yet. Because now, is it time? Is it time to fight? I think it's time to throw down, show down. Three's not coming to town, even though they could come. Do they want to come? Hmm. also move something else there ah uh, no We're, we got this we got this we got this we're going in going hard nobody else is helping us i wish they could help us can they help us that wouldn't make any sense i don't think they can help us they're there just to get attacked i'm pretty sure let's double check 
The dummy players do not take turns and only exist to be attacked, cohabitated with, and compete for endgame objectives. Yep. No help from you, scrub. Let's take care of Garbus, devourer of the world. So he's hungry. Each player must discard two of any combination of production or immediately lose two ships. Can I lose the two ships? That's the question. How many dice is he going to be rolling? Oh, I think I... Do I draw cards here? Does that mean I should have drawn cards? Oh, no, he's got a zero on him. I think that's another symbol where I might get to draw cards. I could also discard this to reroll three dice. Hmm. Hmm. My fleet is six. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Now my fleet's four. No, I don't want my fleet to be four. So we're actually going to lose the two military production because we're going to get two military production after we crush garlics. Right? Believe. Believe. And I don't want to do this. So I'm going to be rolling six dice because the players attack first. I wonder if some of these the players don't get attacked first. I bet there are. Let's get up deeper. All right. See his circle, which is good. Two circles. That is four damage, five damage, six damage. And he has seven. But I could re-roll up to three dice. But then I don't get to do it. Yeah. I don't want this guy beating me. I don't want him punching me. Wait, so what if he does punch me? What's he going to do? What, what's he get to roll? Let, let me double check this. What's this guy bringing to the table? I'm not scared of him. Maybe I should be scared of him. Let me... Let me, let, let me read. If Garlax lives, do two damage to each fleet. Oh. Does one additional damage to each fleet that does not have at least three tactic cards in hand. So I don't. But two damage, I can take that. I'll do that. So he uh, he has one health remaining because he is wounded. I, I'm just going to I'm just gonna forget about that. We're not going to keep track of it. Because you are supposed to keep track of it on the cards over here. I'm not going to do that because I'm about to crush a stake of face in. So... We take two damage to each fleet. This is nice and clean. I like how this works. Very simple. We're going to take an extra one because we don't have two cards. Ow, that hurt. But we're fighting a giant space monster. It should hurt. Return to step one until the battle is over, which means, ooh, now we're only rolling three dice. So we do need to deal one damage, and we did six damage in your face, Garlax. All right, Garlax off the board. Successfully defeated him, and maybe this is how we're going to win the game. Maybe we beat that level five monster. I do like the fact that there's two different paths to victory here in the solo game. Active player gets three victory points, which bumps us up to seven. Still can't see it, but it's over there. Return all fleets to their home worlds. Hey, guys, I defeated Garlax. Cool. We built this thing while you were going. Uh, draw two tactic cards. Very, very nice. That gets me excited, which means now I do actually have three tactic cards. Damn, these oh, and it's another light speed. Ooh, you may cancel the effect of any side quest card or discard to re any three dice. So I have a feeling that one I'm going to do the, the discard any three dice. Actually, is Bribe one that I'm supposed to take out? Oh, I totally forgot to take out. I don't think so. I do not believe it is in there. Let's go check the solo. And I don't feel like I've had to check the rules too terribly much. I, I'm actually pretty pleased with, with how streamlined this feels and how... Because uh, I feel like... Uh, raid, blockade... And nope, this one does in fact stay in there. I thought so, but I would double check. Draw two tax cards, gain two military production. So I got it back like I said I would. Yeah, don't doubt. And then we so what's the one card over here so there's a one right here i'm very curious maybe i don't know how close you can see that but there's a one right on there in the bottom right hand corner let's see what that one does because it looks like it's a card so monsters go to our handy dandy index monsters see space monsters already knew that 5 10 16 17 let's start on 17 first 17 two. Oh yeah two Oh, that's how many cards they get to draw. Oh, so they could draw more than two cards? Oh, that person was only supposed to have one card. Ooh. So they actually shouldn't have had the wounded and the hungry. They should have only had one of them. I screwed that up. Um, either way, I would have beat them in two rolls, no matter what happens. So we'll just, uh, you know, take this one on the chin, because uh, there is the potential that it might not have been hungry, but whatever. Let's make sure we do this right. Oh, this is end of game interference. Set up changes. Space monsters. Place the associated space monster mini. Also shuffle the monster ability decks and place it on the table close to the monster decks. These will be two. These will be drawn and flipped for monsters that are level two and above. I think that's where I got confused. I thought you had to get two cards because it was level two, but actually it's that number in the bottom right hand corner. 
But it's a learning game. We're learning. And now we get the new monster out. Who's coming? Level three. Mm, mm, mm. Look at this one right here. Let's do it. We got ourselves Krator. He's back. The same guy? Exact same guy? Now, do they change names, I wonder? Um, ba -do -ba -do 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 -do. Nope, it's always Crater. Okay. So they're just back. So there's four giant galactic monsters, but now he's ticked. He's, he's leveled himself up. He's been working out. Crater, you're looking good. Have you been you been hitting the gym, man? Yeah, yeah, I'm level three now. All right. Uh, so this guy is going to have two cards. So we did actually, uh, this time we will be getting two. He is Bloodlust. When a fleet is destroyed, immediately destroy one ship and all remaining fleets. For solo games, if you have two or fewer ships, you lose. For for solo games, if you have two or fewer ships, you lose. Oh, so I would just automatically lose if I got down to lower than two. Okay, that's not what that happened. And ongoing, you immediately defeat this monster if you roll five circles in one attack round. Hmm. Well, that one, that one I think we can do. Ho, 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 with a little card manipulation, and not to mention some help from our Orbital Shipyard. So, uh, Orbital Shipyard, we are going to pay three military production in order to do it. We only have two. So, you know what? I might actually... There's choices. So, the choices that I'm, that I'm really thinking about is... I'm just going to do it. I'm going to let this military production... I'm actually going to let it... Oh, no. I'm going to build a space station. That's what I'm going to do. Build a trade station. Build a trade station in any empty sector where you have a fleet present. Boom. So, space station. Get it done right now. That is big for me. Very happy about that because that's going to be giving me more cubes. And I actually think I'm going to let this military production, I think I'm going to let it carry over. That's dumb. I shouldn't let it carry over. Don't do that. That's stupid. Okay, I won't do that. I'm sorry. But I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. Ooh, but I could... Oh, what I could do... What I could do is I can spend two to populate. Cost on your... Populate equals cost. Add X cubes to planets. Cost two... Oh, two civilization production for each one population. So I could spend two to put one out. <clears throat> oh, that's... Oh, that's a civilization action, though. Oh, there's not enough time to do everything I want. How powerful is 3-3? Three, three? There's no way he's going to be able to go up there and fight him. Oh. oh, what? There's one over here? Oh, my gosh. Why have we not been here? I'm a noob. All right, Fleet 4, you're not doing anything. One, two, one, two. I didn't even notice this staring me right in the face. Plus two, technology production. Obviously, I want to go there. Wow. Okay. Plus two technology production. Is there another one over here? There's not. So there's one over here, one over there, which I imagine you would normally fight over. Yeah, because this would be right here. Very, very cool. That was the end of my... The, was that the end of the third turn? That can't be the end of the third turn. No, that's the end of the second turn. That's the end of the second... No, that's the end of the third turn. Because my first turn was really bad. There's no way I'm going to do this. Oh, no! Well, let's see how much I get up. Round number four, this is the final one. I do get another star to put right here, the reptilians, because you can explore more. I don't see myself being able to get to the 35 points. So I think we really need to focus now on fighting and getting this guy down. We have two light speed cards, which means we can fly right up in his grill. We can punch this dude right in the face. So, I have to be very careful how I spell my resources. But let's, let's see how many resources I get. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we get, uh, oh, we're going to be getting 2 on technology automatically. So just put that there before I forget because we got this here. We have 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Plus, we get uh, 1 for each one that this is near. So 11, 12, 13 cubes out there. That feels pretty good. That feels like a solid number. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we got, that's that's a lot of cubes to spend. Now, unfortunately, technology is not something that I'm really that interested in upgrading right now. But let's check it out and see what we're going to be getting. You may exceed each planet's max. Yeah, they're not going to help. Um, 
Bob play, yeah, and I don't want to attack. Fleet upgrade, mass drivers. Oh, oh, that goes right here. Purchase attack to its cards. Can I go there instead? No, I think it has to be one of these blank ones right here, which I can't afford. For every two ships you lose in battle, add plus one ship to any fleet in another sector for free. That seems pretty good if I'm going to be fighting. So, War Machine. Oh, but I can't play that because I give it up. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, the decisions and the disappointment. I can get a level two civilization card. Is that what I want to do? And I don't know. Is there anything else I, I can do on the tech upgrade that I want? No, it's just the technologies. Dang. All right, so I can get a level one, a level two. You may exceed each planet's maximum population capacity by one. I don't see that's going to help me at all. Plus one raw protection during the production phase. Also not going to help me at all. So I think this really kind of sucks. Oh, 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 but you can always trade two of these for one. That's the free action. So we're just going to eat that. One. That's, that's essentially like we're in one. But the rest of these, we want to populate. Oh, no, no, no. We want to build ships in any fleet. So we're going to need at least three. Because we do have the orbital shipyard. So we're going to get three here. And then we'll put another three here just to be safe. Because I, I do think we're going to, we might do that more than once. And then we're just going to, do we just want to fight? Do we just want to fight? Is that all we want? Colonize a new planet? No thanks. Build a trade station? Populate? No. We're going for the monster. We're going guts, glory, other words that start with G. Let's go there's another word that starts with g all right so first thing we're going to do is we're going to do our orbital shipyard we're going to spend three and boom just like that fleet two is now a beast sitting at 10 which means we have in fact unlocked cohabitate on the most planets so we'll check that out later uh max out of fleet with two ten sh with that with the 10 ships this means we're going to get two points we're up to nine it's not nothing uh, have the most total ships? Probably not going to happen. Explore six sectors, unlock all technology slots. That's not happening. But hey, this is our first time. We didn't know what to do. And now the question is, how do I want to go about this? I feel like we should activate light speed and go three spaces. One, two, three, right up into Crater's face with our most powerful ship, which is two. So biggity, biggity in your face crater let's dance 10 which means we're rolling 10 dice wows us but let's make sure what do we got going on over here just to remember players attack first great when a fleet is destroyed immediately destroy one ship in all remaining fleets oh that's not gonna happen oh for so if you have two or fewer ships you lose okay so don't get down to two <laughs> imagine do you just lose the game or lose the battle I don't know. That should be a little bit clear. Weakness. You immediately defeat this monster. You roll five circles in one attack round. So the question is, do we want to do our dice manipulation here if we don't get it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We used our first light speed. It was good. It was a good one to use. Ten. Oh, look at all these dice. I love the fact they give me ten. No, I love the fact they don't give me six and say roll it two times. That's a lot of squares. That's a lot of squares. That's very unfortunate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is not enough to kill this behemoth of a monster who has 12. So we are going to utilize our bribe to reroll any three dice. Three squares. So now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could reroll three more dice. No, we'll take the hit. Don't reroll the dice. All right, so we, we did what? Was it eight, two, four, six, seven, nine damage? We did nine damage to him. So he's going to take the nine damage, which leaves him with three left. I'll just mark it that he has three left. And he attacks back. Does two damage to each fleet. Does two additional damage to each fleet. If fleet e upgrade level is less than three, my fleet upgrade level is not less than three. Shut your face, crater. So it's only going to deal two damage. I can take that. We can dance all day. But now I only get to roll two dice. So we'll take two away. And you are about to die, sir. That's a lot of squares. 
One, two, three, four, six. Dead. That should have worked out more. Skip leg day, crater. Look at that. Skip leg day. You got weak legs. That's great. So let's see what happens. Dead, 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 dead. And hopefully we'll get some more cubes. Ooh, we might make this be able to happen. Level three monster gone. Active player gets four victory points. Okay, we're creeping up to 13. Not bad. Return all fleets to their home worlds. Disappointing. Return all fleets to their home worlds. It has to be just those ones right there. Because it wouldn't make any sense for this guy to return home. Uh, uh, gain one civilization production. Don't know that's really going to help me. Gain three on any one domestic investment track. Because obviously in a solo game we do not use the domestic investment track. But we've unlocked monster level four. We might get this. We might win this. I am feeling pretty confident we're going to take this down. Let's check it out. Ecrub the Destroyer might have different opinion. I don't know why he has that weird accent. Look at that guy. He's a mean looking dude. All right. He has 13 damage. He's going to be drawing three cards. Yikes. Three monsters. And we'll get five victory points. Oh, player attacks. Ecrub dies in the first combat round. He heals one damage and does not die. So he's going to attack us another time no matter what. Okay. He does three damage. Which means we can still send Fleet 2 in there and we can pump them, pump them, not pump them, pump them. <laughs> That's a different one. All right, uh, I don't judge what you do with monsters, whatever. All right, so what do we got? Aggressive, advanced, warned. These sound bad. These sound bad. Uh, before rolling, for each player not, oh, for solo games, lose one ship before rolling. That's going to suck. Discard one die before your first attack roll for Monster Slayer. I don't, oh, that's, oh, that's, the, there's a solo Another solo gaming play. I might do another video of that uh, uh, playing. There's a just a separate game that you can play a solo game, which is cool. Uh, before rolling, each player must discard a technology production or roll two less dice. I do have a technology production. Good. That's coming to Hamlet. Players may not re-roll dice. That sucks, but hey, <clears throat> it works. So now it gets back to us. We got the monster out here. Let's go get him. Light speed. Light speed, son. Hmm. We could refuel, but we're only at eight. Yeah, let's go. Fleet two. Expansion, I want you to upgrade your fleets. That would be super cool. I don't know how it would work. Maybe you could have like a certain thing you could put in here, which does some sort of upgrade. I don't know how it works. Figure it out. Figure it out, guys, because I want more. I want more of this game. Uh, all right, so. Going down. Fighting. Let's do it. So he is aggressive. We cannot really roll our dice. Each player must discard a technology production or roll two less dice. I will gladly do that. And we still have two here, so we could turn that into one, which means we still have an extra cube we could use. For each player not in the battle, players in the guy lose one ship before rolling. <clears throat> so we're doing rolling seven. Is that every time before rolling? Ow, every time before rolling. Ugh. Owie. These cards are mean. All right, five. Six, seven. Let's go. What do we need? Thirteen, baby. Give me them circles. Those are squares. We got three. This is looking really poor. This is looking really poor, guys. Don't make me look up the rules for what happens if I die. All right, so they have taken three damage. We can't re-roll, and everything is terrible out here in space. Oh, my God, all of our plans. <sighs> You're an adult. You're a professional finish this it's like three damage on him thank you for breeze that's most delightful and now we look at his card and he just is gonna just pummel us uh he didn't die in the first combat round so he does not so three damage to each fleet okay one two three plus we're gonna lose one Oh, because we're going to lose one before we roll each time. Can we run away? Is that a thing we can do? Let's double check. I don't think so. I know you can run away from player versus player. Can you run away? Here's the thing. He's still going to attack on your way out. But, ooh, oh, monster attacks. Can I run away? Let's look. All right, uh, player attacks. Each player counts the number of ships on their fleet and rolls one die per ship. Consult the tech player board to determine the number of hits. Blah, blah, blah. Do, 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 do. Each player removes ships from the fleet. Uh, if any number of players and monster remain, return to step four. Which means, yeah, once you're engaged, you're engaged. We are going to die because we lose one here. Do we have any cards that are going to help? 
Nope. Which means one damage. We, we weakened him a little bit for someone else, which is us. But I don't know. I think this is, I think this might be the end of the road. We're boys to men it right now because he just whacked us for three and now we are dead. So what happens when you are dead? Great question. Well, let's look it up. All right, then. Eh, monster attack. Typically, the monster, each monster card shows the damage the monster does. If the monster is killed, monster cards, yeah, if any number of players immediately return back to the home world. Planetary bombardment. Train monsters. Trained monsters controlled by players? What? You can train monsters? What kind of. What? All right. Mm -mm. I do believe, uh, I don't want to go through all these because I feel like we're, we're hitting the end of the road. And so what we're going to say is that I have just died and now this fleet is gone. I imagine it would go back to here or be completely out of the game. Actually, I do think there is one where they can be completely out of the game. So maybe this is gone. It's not going to matter this game. I'll look it up before I play a multiplayer game of it because it is important to know. But for now, uh, it's just bad. Bad, 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 bad. Okay. We do have a lot of military production, so we could we could bump something up. We could bump we spend the three and bump up the one to an eight. We did that with our military production. Um we could build X ships in any fleet where no other fleet exists, so we could spend two to bump it up all the way to ten, which I do believe is a good call here. <clears throat> and then we'd have to go one two three to move there but before we do that i actually want to move this one one space closer we're gonna need to move him in there somehow anyway one last final ditch effort but it's not looking good it's not looking good let's dance first thing before rolling we have to get rid of a technology card <clears throat> which is fine now, here's the thing. Does this only happen once? Because I can't imagine you would have to lose a technology time each time you roll before rolling. Let's check out that tech. Oh, I bet I got a rule that's not covered. We'll see. Hopefully I'm wrong. Before rolling. The terminology before rolling. Is it before rolling every single time? Because if not, we'd still have one final punch on that guy. Which means we're going to roll one more dice before he just absolutely obliterates us. All right, action phase before rolling monsters. Where was monsters? Technology boards, player versus player combat. All right. I want to know more about the monster cards. Hmm. Maybe they're in a different section. Maybe, maybe it's in the index. Oh, I don't think so. Monster cards, monsters, space monsters. 5, 10, 16, 17. It does not have a specific spot for monster cards. 5, no answer here. 10. Attack, colonize a planet, fight a mace monster. New. 17. <clears throat> Combat. Ongoing versus... It does not clearly explain it that I see, which is unfortunate. I, I wouldn't imagine it's every time before you roll, but hey, it might be. We're, you know, we're, we're probably going to lose, so we'll take our one last blow that guy would have got, so there's one more damage to him. Um, but I don't think you'd probably have to do it every single time. At least I would hope not. This game's already hard enough as it is, at least in the solo mode. Uh, but then again, that might be just because I suck. But hey. So, we're going to lose this technology, which stinks. We're going to lose one. Oh, no, we bumped that all the way up to ten, didn't we? Yeah, we did. So, we're up to nine. Okay, fleet one. Cannot reroll dice. Does not matter. Before your first attack. No, that's before Monster Slayer. Hmm. Lose one ship before rolling. I imagine it would be every single time. That can't be right. Maybe it is right. Who knows? Who knows? 
we're going to knock them out with these nine dice right here anyway. So we're not even going to have to know. We're not going to get any squares at all. We're going back to how we were rolling before, which is really, really good. Come on. There's a good start. One. It's a lot of triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which means... <gasps> no! He still has one! Oh, but he would have healed anyway. Alright, so... He only has one health remaining. He is going to attack us for three. One, two, three. And because we did decide, at least I decided, I made the executive order, that uh, that happens every single time, we are still going to lose one. And then we actually lose two because of... Man, there's so many cards to keep track of. Uh, nope, that's not it. Where are those monster special abilities? Oh, here they are. Each player must discard a technology production or roll two dice less. So, yeah, I don't have that. So I'm only going to be rolling three. So I have to get one of these. Got it. Dead. Mm, you don't get to fight me back. You are dead. So all hope is not lost. Just saying there's a chance. We got a shot. We got a shot. We got a chip. We got a chair. If you play poker, you know what that means. If you don't play poker, you're like, what, what the hell are you talking about? All right. Give me some good stuff, e -crub. All right, active player gets five victory points. Okay, it's up to 17. We're creeping to the point where we might creep into a victory. Probably not, but hey. Uh, return all fleets. Draw one tactic card. I want more than one. Hopefully this is light speed. It's not. Gain two production of each type, including raw. Wow. That... Ladies and gentlemen, is a game changer. Now, we don't need the two raw production because we're not going to be able to utilize it. But for everything else, wowie maui, that means that we are going to be able to guarantee to get at least to the spot to have a final head to head combat with this guy. And we also have the three here. We move the three there. So if we get the one there, the three will go in and they'll get a roll through their two dice. But it might be enough. What is this taxes card? You may colonize any planet that is eligible anywhere in the galaxy for free. Does not help. Discard to reroll any three dice. That will help. Okay. We need some circles. We need some circles, baby. We're going to get a stand-up die roll. Is that happening? Let's figure out what monster number five is. Because I'm sure he's going to be an absolute train wreck of meanness. And he is... Ekrub the Destroyer. You know what? I don't want Ekrub. I want to see one of these other cool miniatures. So we're going to go with Mongrels, the Unforgiving. Which is... Let's see. Ooh, he's still the boss. Slytherin is. Alright. Uh, and he does look cool. Check that out. He needs 13 damage. That's all. But he's got four monster cards. Player attack. Continuing until Mongrel is killed at the end of the second round. At the end of the second combat round, Mongo destroys all fleets in this battle. So I have two rounds to beat him, or everyone is dead at the end of the second round. Which means if I can get three in there, I'm going to... This could happen. This is doable. This is doable. This is our victory right here. Hmm, we've got this, but four of these stinking monster cards. What if they're all just wounded? Maybe we could... I'm a bad shuffler. All right, one at a time. What do we got? First things first, intelligent. Each player must discard one military production or lose two ships. That's really bad. End of round. Heals one health per player at the end of each full attack round. That stinks. You may immediately defeat this monster if you roll five circles in one attack round. Wait, wait, in one attack of you. Ooh, the monster has... Oh, he's wounded! He's only got two. Oh, he's got 11 health. Okay, he's got 11 health. We can also get five circles. We get one reroll... This is it. This is it. <sighs> mm. All right. We got this. We got this. So let's see what we can do with any of this stuff. Is any of this stuff going to help us populate, build a trade station, colonize a new planet? No, that stuff's not going to help. But we can use two for one to do something else. One is over here. They have five. We can spend three. And that would get us up to ten. But then we would still have to move him three spaces. Can we do that? One, two, three. Are we banking all this? Because we also could... We could purchase a tactics card. Draw two tactics and keep one. <sighs> Fleet one. 
Feeling you. Sorry if I clapped too loud there. Let's do it. We're going to spend the three. Build ship. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. When you take the build ships action, yes. We're going to spend three. Gets us up to five. We are now up to ten. We're looking good. We are going to want to be careful about which one of these we discard. Because they have the card where we are going to have to discard. I believe it's a technology. One military production. Oh, it's, I need one military production to lose two ships. That one hurts. That one hurts. Wait, wait. Raw production. Can we spend raw production? Is that like having one? Let me double check here. The free action. Can we spend any two production resources to gain one production resource? But does that include raw productions? Because that would be big if it does. Let's go check it out. I think it does. I think I remember reading that it does. I hope so. The first player to pass each age. No, pass. Let's players play. Where's uh, public objectives, personal objectives. Free actions. Player may convert any two productions of any type into one production of any type without... Oh, players may convert any two productions of any types uh, into one production of any type without costing an action at any time. So that... Makes it sound like this raw production is actually really big for us. So what I'm going to do with this three is actually... We're going to reverse reverse here a second because I didn't know we could do it. And we are going to... I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. There's a way. There's a right way to do this and there's a wrong way to do this. I feel like two, two, two. We could turn all that into this if we really wanted to but i don't really want to yeah we will we're gonna use all three of these and those six cubes are now us upgrading to level 10 these three cubes we will use to get here we still have the, 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 the ah. so here's the question here's the question that i'm that i'm that i that i'm at we're going to lose two ships if we roll in there without at least one military production cube. So essentially it is, do we want to lose two ships and be rolling eight dice? Or do we want to go in there? Uh, if we do that, we roll, come in with eight dice. Then we're also going to have a tactics card. We're going to draw two and pick one. Or do we want to go in there rolling ten dice? I feel... I feel like we should go in there with eight dice. Because we can re-roll. If we get five of the same type, yes. So we're actually going to do that. We're going to spend this. We're going to get two tactics cards. Be good. Production boom. Sabotage. These sound bad. Do I need sabotage? Choose a player. Oh, this one I'm pretty sure I cannot use. Is this one over here? Blockade. Surprise vote. No, sabotage is one you can use. That player decides they may destroy any three of the ships or discard to re-roll this for three dice. Add three production to any one production track. Politics, tech, military, civilization. Oh my goodness. Yes, let's do this. Add three production to any one production track. Booyah. So that is a moot point. We don't even have to worry about that now. That is great. Yes, that's really great. That's spectacular. That's. I think that might have just won us the game. If we get lucky. So now we go one, two, three. Boop, boop, bam. Let's dance. Let's dance. Civilization, build a trade station, populate, colonize a new planet. That's not going to help us at all. All right, here we go. This is it. Stand-up die roll time. We are here. We get a stand-up die roll. That is exciting. So we will discard the one military technology, which we're going to use. Let's make sure we look at all four of us cards to make sure we get it all right. Make sure we're doing everything on the, the, the legal. Uh, this is not the right one. I need to put those into a discard file. Where are those four cards? Here we go. <clears throat> All right, so if I get four of these, he only has 11... No, how much health does he have? He has 11 health. Okay. Just, uh, we discarded our one military. Oh, we didn't lose two ships. Heals one health per player at per player at the end of each full attack round. So I, I only have one player in there. Uh, three is also going to go in there because this is the last time. I think we got this. You may, may immediately this monster roll five circles in one attack round. All right. Let's do it. So his special abilities are... 
players attack continuing until one ground is killed or at the end of the second round. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, here we go. Five circles and this is over, baby. It's looking good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is great. We could reroll three. We need to get 11 damage. At the end of the second combat round, Mugbear destroy all fleets as battle. Oh, we're going to crush him. We got this. We got this no-brainer. So three's going to go. We'll roll two dice. So we got one, two, three. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight, nine, ten. We got that. So then it goes back to that. And he's still. we're going to discard this one, which means we roll all these. And he's going to die. Take that, baby. So let me make sure. But I do believe that means we are the winner or defeat a level 5 monster before the end of the game. Sucker. Bam. That is the Silver River. And I just crushed it right there. So I'm going to change the camera angle a little bit. And uh, we'll discuss a little bit. Let's see if I can do this without getting it all weird. Yeah, we're, 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 you're not going to see me because it's, it's hooked up to the ceiling. It's a very weird rig up that I got here. But that is the Silver River. And wow, I really enjoyed this game. I look forward to playing it again. Now, as a solo experience, I enjoyed the game. But I don't think I'm really going to revisit it until maybe they get an expansion in the future. Because I, I feel like, while I do like the fact that there's a solo game here, and I do, I absolutely like it. I think it's a really cool game. I feel like you're, you're missing out on a lot not having extra players because i feel like it'd be really interesting for other people to jump in here and, and i feel like i said that quite a few times that and i didn't, I didn't even go over it, i didn't even touch these other things there's there's so many different ways to win this game and that's really stinking cool and i want to go back to this because other people can jump in on these battles and you could potentially gain a lot of things you don't get the victory points but to gain civilization production three technology production or the last one which put two in all of these that was huge that got us back in the game that is really cool uh it, it makes me think that there's not going to be a runaway leader problem with this game because you're never quite sure what's going to happen and i do want to look at some more of these explore cards i want to look, i want to go exploring more i want to play a game where i just go exploring because look at this massive asteroid discovered a derelict ship with coffin inside i just want to read it let's let's read it uh let it continue on its path draw one tactics card or open the coffin and study the corpse plus two technology or selection quest deliver the coffin place this card in front of you and place a quest marker on it uh move the fleet to sagittarius a and reward upon completion so if we get them to a certain spot then man that is, is really cool uh then you gain four political production because we've returned that to whoever had it and now they like our people better it makes sense thematically i'm excited to try all the different races because there's uh, a bunch of different races i think there's six or seven i don't have the advanced version uh the uh the advanced version of the game which bails you up to five players and i think it has a couple more races in it which would be cool to check out but uh wow lots of cool stuff going on here and hopefully after watching this you can definitely tell it's a game that is for you i feel like for a game that is this meaty and has this many moving parts and different things going on i was very pleased with the rule booklet the rule booklet was very well written and it guided me it had a natural flow to it uh the actions i feel like you're going to start learning these actions and then you can you can start minimizing the table space a little bit but this is going to be a table hog no matter what but that is the silver river from robert burke games i am very pleasantly surprised with this game this one's absolutely going to go into my collection and you could probably expect uh because right now the, the whole coronavirus thing is happening but once that goes by uh you'll probably see a thoughts from the corner on this one as well because i have a feeling my game night is absolutely going to really enjoy digging this one uh but there you go that is the silver river from robert Burke games be sure to check that one out if it looks like it might be your cup of tea if you're enjoying what i'm doing please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below let me know this is my first time really doing a gameplay of a game that's a that's a big expansive one like this could you see everything clearly any suggestions pointers anything like that that you have uh please let me know in the comments down below because i would love to do more of these now that i've upgraded my ipad with more storage but let me know in the comments down below and as always thanks for your time youtube